Hi everybody, I'm embellishing my painting titled And There You'll Be. So this is a Dura canvas print and it has a triple spray varnish over it. And it was done by Art Magic YYC. I absolutely love um, the quality of Art Magic prints. And right now what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of acrylic ink uh, to my palette. And I'm going to highlight some of the parts of the painting where I had those really beautiful metallics. Um, so this is what I would call embellishing a canvas print. Um, and I'm just looking to see which colors I need. I'm gonna do some acrylic ink and also be able to have a little bit of water going on here. And so I'm just gonna start um, ideally, I would want to use the same brush that I did this painting with, um, with the same sort of energy. Um, this is just going to give the painting a little bit of shimmer uh, in, the, in this area where I have this, um, uh, looks like sort of um, a bronze, an iridescent bronze. Um, the lighting is a little bit tricky. I know my shadow is probably here and you can't quite see what I'm doing. Um, but I just wanted to show you sort of my process for embellishing. Uh, this is a really large canvas print. So this is 38 by 48. Um, ideally, um, I mean, I might wanna switch to my watercolor brush uh, this one is a little bit smaller. I think it's a size 10. I usually use a size 12. And I believe I painted this composition with a uh, size 12 watercolor brush. And sometimes I tilt it just so I can see a bit of the shimmer. Um, I'm just gonna add a little bit more water to my palette. And I'm just bringing in sort of, again, a shimmery, metallic um, in a way that uh, has energy and um, just brings out this particular part of the painting a little bit more depth okay and i think um okay went a little bit too dark around there you can always just blot a little bit with a paper towel, it's very forgiving. And um, I think that looks good. What I'm gonna do now um, is I'm gonna go over to another color, my iridescent rich copper. And I'm just going to add it in a few places. So down in this little corner, um, just in this one little area. I might come back with the gold right here. And then the other area I want to do, um, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this, is this beautiful leaf up here. So I'm just sort of um, moving the brush around quickly, getting some of that energy back into the painting. And uh, it has this gorgeous shimmer when the light hits it. Um, so I just love that. And uh, let's just see. So I think I'll go back in with the gold over here. And I'm just going to see how my video is, how you can visualize things. Um, so it would have been working at the top here. So you can see this is the whole painting. Um, this is the moon. Um, where I used an alcohol ink to get that beautiful gold. And I just did a gorgeous, um, rich copper there. It's, um, again, the lighting's not great, but this is the whole painting, so it's really big. And I'm gonna go back and work on this lower area uh, with the mountains. And I'm gonna bring those out. Um, but first, um, do I want to add the gold there? I'm just going to take a look at it in the light before it dries. So I'm going to turn on the light. Okay, now I can see it from the side. That looks really good. Okay, so 
lighten it up a little bit. I'm going to switch brushes and uh, I'm just going to quickly put some water on this brush just because acrylic ink is really, really tough on brushes. And I'm going to go to my white mountain and I'm just going to be bold and pour on some titanium white golden fluid acrylic paint. You know I've done this many times before. This is one of my most popular canvas prints and so I'm quite confident in uh, the process of embellishment. And I feel like uh, the more I do it, probably the better I get at it um, because I'm very confident in the materials and just really comfortable with the process. So it's one of those things that when you first get a print, a proof, you almost want to play around with embellishing it before you work on the big, uh, the big print um, because there's not a whole lot of room to move when you make an error on these particular canvas prints or gicle prints. Actually, there's a bit more room to move on a canvas print, but gicle material is so absorbent and once you put paint down, it is down. Um, and there you go. And there you'll be. And there you go. Okay, so we've got that beautiful white textured mountain. I like to smooth out the line work a little bit. There we go. To make it look a bit less painterly and a bit more um, with solid lines there. And uh, what I do is I clean off my brush, usually by starting another painting, but this is just the back of my Arches watercolor. I'm just gonna go, go to the black paint. Ideally, I would have another brush um, and be able to just, while I'm on video, switch brushes and use black and clean my brushes after, but um, my, uh, this paintbrush that I love, um, actually isn't working great. I have two of them, so I have to get another one. So I'm just going to clean my brush and go to the black. So again, this is fluid acrylic carbon black. I'm going to do it on both of these. It is a bold move. I'll start in this little corner. I'll just put enough on that I'm comfortable with. You can hear that little, I think it's a red-breasted finch that's uh, decided to come visit this spring, which I absolutely love, love his song. So um, I have a bit of a natural tremor in my hand, which to be honest, um, helps me with some parts of the painting, the process. So. Um, you can probably see I'm a bit jittery. Usually that's from a little bit too much coffee in the morning as well as uh, just a natural tremor. So, um, but sometimes I, uh, I like the tremor just because of um, the way it moves the paint around. Okay, so I'm gonna do go to the top. So I'm gonna go back once this is dry and repaint those lines, okay? Um, I really like that. I'm just gonna see how much black I have on my brush because I want to just make sure I get off some of the black paint. That's the black goes a long way. But I do want the texture look. Um, this painting uh, is going to uh, a place called the Audio Room in Calgary, Alberta. And um, it's gonna be sort of on a feature wall at this place. So I wanna make it, um, I wanna make the embellishment really, really textured, um, just so when people see it, they think it's an original, which I love because when you have a printing company that is really good like that, you, you your work, you know, people think it would be an original. So that's sort of the goal. 
and the goal is not to embellish the whole thing and I have made that mistake in the past with some paintings. I actually kept a painting because I embellished so much of it um, that I put so much work into it. It was almost like a new masterpiece over top of the other one, probably better than the original. <laughs> and so I kept it because I thought, well, I'd have to charge an awful lot for this print because it's become an original. Um, okay, so we're gonna let those dry. And um, I'm also gonna embellish this area with a pink and we'll go back over top with some more line work. So um, I will see how this video turns out, but that's a little, uh, a little um, video here. Oh, I'm just gonna do these birds. Um, speaking of birds, you can hear them. This one here, I often do with paint pens because it's really risky with a black paintbrush over a clean white canvas. Um, however, I am confident in my skills, so I'm not going to use my Sharpie pen. I'm just going to use the paint here. And you can see on the edge here, up at the top, um, just going to see if I can angle that. Um, I need a videographer. Anyway, um, I'll finish it there and thanks so much for watching. Again, this is my, uh, my 38 by 48 um, print, canvas print. Let's just see if I can bring the camera back and it's titled, And There You'll Be. So it's primarily watercolor and mixed media and it's on a gallery wide canvas frame. And right now it's upside down, but it looks pretty good right side up and I'll put that in the title page.